you Nita from arblab.com.au and I'm Sinead from Arblab Tree Care and I look after these social media pages. Welcome back to another one of our little weekly episodes. This week is pretty exciting. I have a brand new product to show you so that's really cool. I can't wait to show you what it's all about. And I have an accent you can't live without. <laughs> So it's pretty cool, and if you watch all the way to the end, we actually have a little competition starting 1st of March 2018. Um, so right at the end of this video, we'll give you all the details and tell you how to enter. So to get started, um, I think I'm up first, aren't I? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, um, sorry, and also, just in case you watched last week's, I know we said we were going to do a tour through our brand new premises. Um, we had really high hopes for our abilities, and it turns out we couldn't finish unpacking in a week so if we did the tour now you'd be pretty disappointed so we will do the tour we promise it just won't be this week i'm sorry but we've got cool new products so let's get into that so my trusted little hand over here <laughs> is holding the new product now don't be surprised if you sort of go haven't i seen this before because yes silky have brought a yellow pocket boy out before but this one's a bit special because it has a brand new curved blade. So this is the tiniest folding saw that I know of in the world with a curved blade and it's really cool and it cuts unbelievably. Now, different to the previous yellow uh, pocket boy that they made, this one has much larger teeth. So if you've got a yellow pocket boy, obviously it's not gonna have a curved blade, but the teeth would be much smaller. So these are much, much bigger. And I'm gonna give a little demonstration as to how this actually cuts so you can get an idea of what speed. Um, but this is, even though I say big tooth, it's still a great tooth because it's not too big to cut smaller branches and that's what I'm gonna cut something sort of about that size. Um, but still, still good if you did need to cut a bigger branch. And these were originally the pocket boy range designed for the army. They wanted to make the most compact saw they could that would still cut a really decent sized piece of wood and a variety of different timbers and have strength and not break on them really easily and quickly. So that's exactly what they achieved, an amazing compact saw that we, we nicknamed them the little giant because it's just incredible what these things will cut. And as I mentioned, I'll, I'll do a little demo. But just a couple of little special points about this saw so you know what you're getting when you buy one is um, the notch here on the, the blade. Hopefully you can see that. We'll do a close-up if you can. Um, this is great for just pulling that blade in and out from the handle. So it gives you a grip, something to hold on to. Uh, the other thing they have is these two special notches up the top here. They're really, really good because when you lift it the first time, it locks in. That's a normal sort of saw setting, except extra special, it's a curved blade. Uh, but if you press that lever again and lift it up again, it sits the blade up on a higher angle. So if you put the handle like that, you can see it sort of kicks up into the ear. Now that gives you the ability to cut on a different angle. So maybe to like a flat surface, or um, if there's a branch here in the way when you're cutting that you, for some reason, don't want to get rid of, you can lift the handle up out of the way. So it's a neat feature that a lot of Silky's folding saws have. Uh, and this new curved pocket boy has it as well. The other thing with the Silky saws, all of them, and including this new one, is they have this fantastic handle. So it's a really nice grippy handle, isn't it? Actually, I'm gonna get Sinead to hold this little baby one. And like the other pocket boys, they do come in two sizes and the cases are, are really neat. They, they come with a little case as a, um, as a display box, really. So, I mean, this isn't super robust, so you wouldn't be using it in a commercial sense, but really good for, you know, just storing it if you're using it camping or having it in the shed. Um, I know a lot of my friends like to put their tools away somewhere special and safe, so perfect thing for that. Uh, so that's the case they come in, and my trusty little hand on the wall can hold that. Um, and then that's the bigger size, so two size options. So if Sinead holds her little one up, yeah, I'll top of it, so people can see. <laughs> we can see from that angle, but you can't. <laughs> so that's the size difference. 13 centimeters, 17 centimeters. Everything else exactly the same. Um, and both that beautiful, comfortable, grippy handle that's super, super absorbent for vibrations and uh, won't go slippery when you get wet hands, so really, really good. And steel all the way through the handle, so really strong. Beautiful, beautiful saw, and when you see my demo, you will definitely want one. <laughs> okay, so remember all silkies cut on the pull stroke, so start your cut right next to the handle, not at the tip of the saw, at the handle. And let's see how this beautiful new curved pocket boy goes. Very nice, I'm gonna do it again. One more time. <laughs> 
Oh man, that is so beautiful to use. You guys want to try this. And girls. <laughs> well, I have the coolest product for you. I have this. Oh no, X. <laughs> it is, please be my sister. <laughs> it is a fantastic um, piece of art, basically. Um, so if you love camping or if you love four wheel driving, uh, this is your. Don't know where I'm going with this one. <laughs> Best <You're>... friend. <laughs> yeah. And the envy of all your friends. Yes, it is. Once you get a hold of this, you will like be amazed of how um, evenly weighted it is as well. The quality. The quality of it, um, the material of the handle. Of steel. It's a uh, no, not a <laughs> ring. <laughs> um, it's unbelievable. I wish that you guys could feel how heavy it is um, or just, just how sharp and shiny it is. It is unbelievable. A couple of months ago I did a campaign for um, commercial restaurants um, or those who own their own wood fire pizza um, companies. I offered this saw for them and it's just amazing the people's responses for it. Mm. Um, they just love it. It is also because it's so convenient as well and so compact it's great for storing away. Um, especially if you work in a commercial kitchen as well like you don't have to have one of these bad boys. Yeah, so on I the thought desk. we'd grab a, a normal size axe. This is definitely not normal. This is beautiful. We'll talk about this another week. But this is the size of a normal axe. So you can see the difference. Maybe we go on the closer. <laughs> so yeah, you can see this is much, much larger. And I mean, this has got an incredible weight for the size of it, but this is also much heavier too. So, you know, if you're in a compact area, whether it be in a campground or a kitchen or I don't anyway. know, anywhere you need to pack something up. <laughs> That's just unbelievable. It is. You you wait till you check that one out in real life. It is unbelievable. But focusing on this one. <laughs> we'll, we'll go straight this back to this one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this you'll find this easy on our website. Just type in Ono X O N O. Simple, easy. Um, yeah, it's one of the easier Japanese words. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It, it's got, as well, it's got the awesome grip on it as well, so if you've um, got wet hands as well, it'll just it'll get grippier as well, so you won't have to worry about hitting it down and your hands going with it as well. <laughs> and the case is great on that one too. It is, it is. Um, it's a great protection for it as well. It's, it's just, firm, it's not soft and floppy. Yeah, very, very firm and it's mm. great. Um, so we'll keep out of the reach, it's not sharp at all. Um, keep the blade nice and safe, keep the blade nice and sharp, um, and a well looked axe will be your partner for life. <laughs> and, and I mean, it's one of those pieces, like Sinead said, her dad's got one, and every time he pulls it out, people are like, oh my goodness, where did you get that? I want one. So it's like the ultimate brag piece. But if you're an arborist, this is also fantastic for you because. If you're having to poison a stump, you know, you've got to cut that V notch into it. So something like that is just perfect. It does the job brilliantly. And it's not going to take up much room, um, quick and easy to use. You can even carry it with you if you want. There's always a hole on there that you can oh, hook yes. it onto your belt if you want to have it on, on you just in case. Maybe you're doing a, a range of poisoning. So handy for the arborist as well as the camper, as well as the kitchen enthusiast. And we've even had some of our customers send us videos where they're cutting up like the food for the dog. They've got chicken wings and things and they're chopping them up. So the uses are endless, but it's a great product. It is awesome. It's great. I've seen a few photos that people have tagged me on Instagram of them hunting with it. Like it just yeah. cuts through bone. It is incredible. You guys have to check it out. Yeah, <laughs> Either with fun. us or order it online or one of our closest dealers. Um, you'll find the link below. Okay, so that's it for us this week. We hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we're feeling a lot better with our moves, so hopefully next week will be even better than this week. I wouldn't say I'm 100%. Um, we do dark things, it seems, in this place. And so my, <laughs> it was my turn this week to do the daftest of them all. Uh, lost my phone, which isn't an unusual occurrence, but had everyone searching for it yesterday. Uh, we rang it, and Sinead <laughs> was the one who found it. It was in the fridge. Uh, I had to say it was the first time I put my phone accidentally in the fridge, but it happened. So that might tell you why we still yet haven't got this place all together and why the tour's not happening this week. But we are getting better and I promise to have a better head than putting my phone in the fridge and doing daft things like that next week. <laughs> but competition time. So we have the beautiful pocket boys that I showed you earlier up for grabs this month. So this month being 
March, so we're not quite there yet, but March 2018, you can have the chance to win one of these beautiful pocket boys or its big brother. Sinead, how do they enter? So you, all you have to do is send me an email or um, a message via um, social media or tag us in a picture um, of your silky saw. Or if you don't have a silky saw, you can um, tell us why you want a silky saw. Or you could um, send us a photo of a branch that you want to be cut down or anything like that. Just anything related to the arbour industry or the home gardening. And don't forget um, to tell us it's an entry to the competition yes. too. because we Not just you flattering me with your messages. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh. <laughs> but yeah, basically tell us why you want one of these new pocket boys. I think that's basically what we come down to, isn't it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, and how to do all of those is in the description below. So. Um, it'll, you'll have our email, Facebook um, yeah. address, all that sort of stuff. So just click that show more button and find those details and send an entry in. So that's March 2018 Pocket Boy Competition. Alright, see you guys. See ya.